What up, my underground dinosaurs? How you doing today? This is what we got for you. This is the underpass. So this is a fun one because we get some new units coming on. Um, Rain of Fire, Archers, and then, of course, a little bit of uh, reinforcements over here. And let's get going. So these guys are a little bit on the tough side. Um, I, I was practicing out a strategy. I was just, you know, practicing out, seeing how things were going and everything. And then I, I realized that I needed to move things around a little bit, and I restarted the video. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to... Slurp that guy up and go all the way up. I know, a ton of crazy. We're going to do all the way up to a necromancer. Early on like that. We're going to chop that guy up. I'm going to be chopping up a lot of these guys up in the back here. I know it seems like it's the least efficient thing to do, but it'll definitely be worth it. Uh, so these guys are really, really strong. What they got, they're just really tanky. So we're already up to 300 health. They do a pretty reasonable amount of damage, and they move faster as you hurt them. So, that doesn't really matter all that much. I mean, I just feel like that's like the normal amount of speed that anybody would have anyways. But, at the same time, it would be kind of nice if they didn't move faster as we killed them. You can tell, though, it's a pretty drastic uh, pretty drastic speed difference, I'd say. So, right now, obviously, we're really, really, really relying on our Necromancer Tower. Uh, but that's okay, because now we're going to have skeletons popping up. Everybody's just going to get stunned right here. And then, of course, rain of fire whenever you're ready. Um, right before the next wave. So, don't ever, ever, ever send out the the next wave before you rain a fire. There's billions of guys over here. Now we can upgrade to our archer tower up to third tier. And what I'm going to do is actually chop up this little guy right here as well. I say chop it up, but I guess dig it up. Whatever we want to do. Because now we've got <gasps> night scales! No! These guys are evil, man! Yeah, they are. They're really, really terrible. I hate them. I absolutely do. I hate them so much. Um, that's where we're going to put our barracks all the way over here and put our guys as far back as we possibly can. And we're going to move Ulrich all the way back. So again, rain of fire, next wave. That's the way we like to do it. And I'm going to dig this guy up. So we're going to dig the guy up and we're going to make an arch tower back here. This is for the night scales, by the way. Um, the night scales are very, very good at just kind of like sneaking through your entire defense. Let's move Ulrich back just a little bit. We're going to rain of fire over here. Kill all the night scales and get a bunch of extra money. And eventually, once we get our crossbow before it's going, everything's going to be so much darn better. So you're probably thinking, Chris, wow, this seems like a really, really bad strategy. You're, like, struggling so much right now. Well, we're getting set up for late game. That's the main thing I want you guys to understand, is that right now, yeah, it might seem a little bit rough on us, but it's really not that bad. So also what we're going to do is we're actually going to go for mage towers pretty much everywhere else. So up here, it's going to be mad amounts of mage towers and all that stuff. Um, obviously, be a little bit careful. These... These Razor Wings are kind of tough, I guess. Um, especially when you got, you know, uh, people on the screen already. So we're going to get Mage Towers there, 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 and there. Because eventually we're going to have something called a Myrmidon coming out. I think it might be this round. No, it's just more Night Scales and more Night Scales. We're ready for these guys. We've already got our setup kind of ready. Um, I'll pop over just a little bit closer. Alright, so the reason, like I said, why we're getting all these mage towers here is eventually Myrmidons are going to be coming out. But those guys are super duper 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 painful if they get to the back of the map. Now, we probably will still have to get to the back of the map because, of course, we're playing on veteran mode and all that stuff. But, if I can just do the very best that I can, um, as long as I'm doing the very best that I can, I'll be happy. So let's get mage towers up. I think this. No. Oh, there we go. No. Nope, still no Myrmidons. I don't know when the heck they come out, but they're going to be coming out pretty soon. So again, um, you guys know the drill. Rain of Fire. Snow the next wave. So look at all that skeleton action. Yeah. <laughs> Another nice thing about putting mage, mage towers just all over the place is that um, sometimes if you hurt the night scales enough, they'll go invisible kind of early on in the map, and then, uh, uh, you know, they'll actually... They won't disappear and appear all the way in the back. They'll appear kind of over here where, like, most of your damage is actually getting done. So what do we got coming out now? Night Scales and Broodguard. Still no Myrmidons coming out. It's okay. I'm just going to I'm just gonna rain a fire these guys back here. There's actually a ton of them. Oh, my goodness. Like, oh, my goodness. Luckily, the rain of fire is going to do mega damage. Mega damage. I'm going to stun these guys a little bit more. There's actually quite a few of them, but I think with all and our reinforcements and everything, we should be okay. Um, I did not get any artillery so far. This is where the artillery would be really, really nice. But I think I'm much better off going with the mage towers first. Um, 
you know, all the way up to, you know, at least third tier. If we want to go to Archmages, we can, but for now, I think the most important thing for me to do is just get third tier. They do really, really good damage without doing anything special yet. Um... I mean, that's why, like, like sometimes, if, you, if you're actually not having guys die inside of the range of the Necromancer, he's actually not good to go for. You're better off going to third tier Mage Towers. Um, they do more damage. I mean, look at this guy. He already does 40 to 74 damage. I mean, this guy does 20 to 70. Uh, so, like, this guy does more damage than this guy most of the time. Uh, no, all the time, pretty much. Yeah, pretty much all the time. So, I don't know. No, I just gotta think about that kind of thing. But now we get a bunch of special skeletons popping up and everything, and, you know, it's just kind of a fun tower to have. If we can get super cool fourth tier upgrades for him now and stuff like that. Alright, so now I've got almost all of the mage towers set up the way I want them to be. Let's get another cross before it over here, and then I think I'm going to start getting a little bit more artillery. Alright, so I'm, gonna, I'm probably going to rain of fire these Quetzalcoatls. Or no, they're not Quetzalcoatls yet, they're just Razor Wings. Alright, so I think next level is definitely going to be the Myrmidons. Um, and I think we actually have a good setup for them now, though. So let's get... Uh, let's get... Yeah, let's do it. Let's get our Battle Mecha going. I don't know if you guys have noticed, but these guys in the background are really, really scary. So we got Brood Guards, and there we go. Myrmidon. Six of them coming out, too. It's not just two. Not just four, but six. Oh, so darn scary. So, yes, third tier mage towers everywhere. And check it out. So these guys are really, really scary because they have medium armor. And uh, they're worth two lives when they walk through. And they can regen their health if they eat your enemies. So if they eat our guys, I think they regen from skeletons and from reinforcements and even from Ulrich's sand warriors, which I did not really like all that much. Kind of shit. Alright, so what do we do with all our money? I think we get the battle mecha going. I'm going to rain of fire these last Myrmidons. Did pretty mega damage to them. I'm pretty happy with that overall. Some Myrmidons still sneaking through over here, but that's okay. Uh, the Necromancer Tower is doing mega damage. I'm just going to wait it out, though. Again, these guys are scary, 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 scary. I don't like them. I don't like dealing with them. Um, they're just really, really strong. And then, you know what? When I get to the point where I'm like, oh, I actually have to use Skeletons. I actually have to use Reinforcements. I actually have to use Ulrich. Uh, it doesn't really help out that much. Because this guy just regens a lot of his health. Okay, so let's do it. Next wave. Forced upon us. <laughs> See what I mean, though? It does. If, if you do enough damage to them, they go invisible already. And then, when they become uninvisible, um, it'll be like right over here. So they'll already have like not very much health, and we can just take them down very, very quickly. All right. So more Myrmidons coming down on the bottom here. I think I'm gonna go for an Archmage. I think, gonna, I think I might go for pretty much all of them up to Archmages eventually. If I can get these guys bundled up, though. Um, I don't know. They're really, really strong, as you can tell. It's like even my re my f nearly full highest level, you know, guys can barely, barely, barely stun these guys for any more than like a split second. And then they regenerate health anyway. So it's like, is it even worth it, man? Is it even worth it? So here we go. It's time, guys. We're gonna get another artillery, and of course, we're gonna go for the battle mechas. Once I get battle mechas, I don't really think I'm ever gonna go for dwarfs ever again. I don't know. I mean, like maybe if it was just like the perfect scenario, I might pop those guys out. But these guys are just so much better. They really are. They're amazing. All right. So now we got two battle mechas. We've got a super duper mega skeleton army. Every single guy that dies is gonna pop in right here, and we've got our couple cross before it's with a bunch of orc mages already. Yay! See, Archmages actually do more damage, 60 to 120 damage, so that's why, you know, instead of a Necromancer Tower doing less damage, um, if you're going for full-on damage, you want to go for these Necromancers. Or not the Necromancers, the full-on Archmages. So everybody's kind of piling up right now. It's kind of cool, actually. Uh, so, let's rain a fire of these Myrmidons, and I think I'm actually ready to go for the next wave. We're actually doing pretty good damage already. And another Orc Mage. So now we even got more Myrmidons coming out on the top uh, uh, as well, which I kind of didn't know that that happened. Alright, and there we go. Full on four Orc Mages. So now whenever we want to, whenever we shoot a triple attack against these guys, it is going to be brutal. It's going to be four triple attacks all at once. 
Alright, so just to make sure nobody sneaks in, I'm gonna put Ulrich a little bit further back. And I'm gonna upgrade my barracks all the way up to these guys. I like the Templars. I'm a big fan of just making sure my guys do not die. And the Templars are the best way to make sure your guys do not die. <laughs> it's as simple as that. So again, crazy amounts of Myrmidons coming out, but nothing else right now. Makes it a little bit easier. You know, obviously if these guys were getting really, really tanky, then we could never ever kill all these Night Scales, which are actually climbing up out of the underpass right now. Alright, so we've got... Eh, we've got a pretty good little bundle right here. I don't think I'm going to set up the next wave early right away. I'll wait a few seconds. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah. Actually, I'm ready to go. A few little Night Scales with a tiny, tiny bit of life left. I could take them down. Alright, so now I'm going to go for another Mage Tower, believe it or not. We're just going full on damage as far as, uh, you know, this uh, close game is concerned. And you know what? Archer Towers, they're not bad, but when you have guys who have armor already, they're just going to tank every single one of your, you know, uh, arrows. So you're better off just going full on, uh, you know, magic up at the frontier. It's surprising because we went... Uh, the beginning of the game is just Archer Towers, Archer Towers, Archer Towers, all over the place. And now we're working our way into, you know, Mage Towers actually being a little bit better in most situations. Eventually we're going to get to the point where uh, I'm probably going to end up switching back a little bit more to Archer Towers. So we've got tons of guys built up all over the place. This Rain of Fire right here. Everybody's going to walk right on this residual Rain of Fire. Not going to do quite as much damage because it's residual, but at least I'm going to be doing damage. And I'm also, the, I think I'm going to go for uh, Critical Mass. Let's go for Critical Mass on all these guys. It'll do grouped magic damage to all the people coming out. <laughs> Try to take me down now, evil Myrmidons. And we're ready for the next wave. Alright, so here we go. We got a new enemy coming out. This is the Saurian Brute. Basically, all they are is just a super huge Mungo tank. Um, I think you guys are used to this by now. Eventually, usually on wave 10 or 15, you have new guys coming out, and they're super duper tanky. Uh, this guy has nothing extra special about him. He's got 4,400 health, which is ridiculous, I might add. Some of the bosses have like 10,000 health, so um, yeah, it's ridiculous. Uh, but then his attack is also pretty darn strong. Like, like uh, even these guys can get hit killed with grouped damage in like two or three hits from this guy. All right, so we're still doing a pretty good job. Um, I'm gonna try and stun this guy, and try and just I don't know. Maybe I can stun these guys long enough to just get everybody rain of fire right in the middle here. It's kind of my main goal. Let's see if we can make it happen. Actually, you know what? There's an even better little chunk of guys right there. A bunch of Myrmidons and a Brute on top of each other. So we went for more grouped killing power. Again, everybody's piling up right here, so I went for the Pestilence upgrade. Alright. Yeah, people still doing a pretty good job, I guess. Pretty good job sneaking through my defense. But it's still not enough to get through. This is wave 15, by the way. So this is the final wave. And we're doing pretty good. You know, nobody's getting all the way to the back here or anything like that. We still um, have reinforcements and everything if we need to. And overall, I feel like we played this really, really well. Um, the only problems we had were kind of in the early game. The night scales were a little bit difficult. If we had, you know, a different hero besides Ulrich, who had the sand with the ridiculously awesome sand warriors, we might have some problems. But with the sand warriors and with Ulrich, we took them all down really, really easily. We got set up fairly fast. And everything went smoothly. Yay! So, um, without the hero, I'm pretty sure that I used him, but I think it might have been hero dying. Maybe. Not really sure. So anyways, here we go. We got more upgrades, but sadly, I can't get the recurve bow yet, so what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to get the, uh, uh, mage towers upgraded just a little bit, and then on the next level, hopefully I can get three more stars, and bam, shazam, get the recurve bow on these guys. I'm super duper happy. So you guys are wondering, why the heck have I been getting artillery? Well, there are a lot of stars, first of all. Um, more, more stars than, like, archers, for sure. And I really haven't felt that they're that amazing. I mean, they're pretty good, but, I mean, this one's gonna be really good. Special abilities, reload time. Oh my god, wasp missiles like crazy all over the place. Awesome. Um, but that's all I have for you guys today. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you press the like button. I do appreciate those. Thanks for watching. Have a super duper delicious day.